So, so um, we are continuing on and we're going to be converting this. The Illustrator plan um, of a structure. Now this in this one is a house. Um, it, now this applies to any other structure you are doing. Um, a structure that has a slab base and a gable roof. Okay, and this plane here is produced at 1 to 100 scale. So let's start modifying this. We have our layers palette here, and we have a symbols layer, we have walls layer, and we have a layer which is the base layer where, where our nameplate is. What we're going to do now is we're going to move our symbols. So we're going to select our symbols layer, and we're going to click on this green button and bring it down to walls. Also now click on this layer here and move this up. So now that symbols has no data in it, we can, we can drag it down to the trash. We go to layer one and we also drag that one down to the trash as well. Next up, we are going to get rid of these dimensioning lines. It's fine to have them still, but um, I choose not to because um, we are drawing all these to spec and we are also going to be tracing it pretty much in, um, in SketchUp. So let's prepare this model. So we're going to select the model. Now if you have any type with naming of the rooms, you need to go to type and then you need to go to outline. Um, so create outlines is, um, is the menu item you need to select right there. Um, next up you go to object and then you go down to path and you outline stroke. Okay, so now we are ready to export to SketchUp file. So let's go to File, Export, Export As, and we're going to um, name this as being Floor Plan Example for SketchUp. Now it's not a PNG file, we need to use an AutoCAD interchangeable file. Click on that one and click on export. And we're going to replace because I've already done this tutorial with students. Okay, so next up we need to establish our scale. So our scale model here is 1 to 100 and it's set to millimeters. Please remember to make this as millimeters. If you do not set this as millimeters, you are going to be having to redo your whole model again. Okay, so very important that you set it to millimeters. So 1 to 100 scale. Okay, so let's click on OK. And now um, let's open up SketchUp Pro. Okay, so I've already got SketchUp open. I'm just going to quit it just so we can have it as a fresh open. Okay, so I'm just going to open up SketchUp right now. So it's opening for the first time. And we need to choose our template. So we go over here, choose template, and we're going to choose architectural design in millimeters. Select on that one and let's start using SketchUp. Okay, so this here is our space. I'm just going to maximize this space here. Um, if you need to get to the menu, um, it's fine. You can just um, flick your mouse up and you'll see it, okay? Um, for the interest of this, I might just expand this out so I can still see the menu there too. <clears throat> All right. So um, let's go to File, Import, because we want to import our model. And we need to go and find our model. So um, this is where my stuff is stored in classes. And um, we are we in um, Senior. I'm going to environmental design and examples and we have here my DXF file. Um, click on options and see if everything's all good. So orientated faces consistently. Yep, 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 yep. It's all good. Um, now here, this is the main thing. Scale units must be the model units, please. Do not select feet or inches or miles. We're in Australia. Okay, so we use metric. So let's, let's click on OK. And now we click on import. So it's going to take some time for it to import. Um, this comes up and looks like it's all good. So I click on the close. And now we have our model, not our model, but, but our DXF file has been imported into the space. We see here that we have 
a true to life person in the space. Don't delete this person because we always like to see if our model, model is drawn accurately. Okay, so now to orientate ourselves to SketchUp, um, first of all, I want to go to Window and I want to turn on Layers, please. So make sure the layers, so this palette here is selected. Okay, and um, so let's have a look around this space. So if we go to the Orbit tool, we can click and then drag around and we can actually look around our model, which is really cool. Okay, um, you can scroll in, scroll out. Okay, so you can see things. That's how you sort of get around your view. Um, you'll get a hang of um, using these views as time goes by. Okay, so let's start making our model. So I want to create a new layer now. Now layers are different in SketchUp. They're three-dimensional layers. Okay, so it doesn't matter if one's on top of the other. They are in. They 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 live in the same space. So let's click on plus. And we're going to call this one here um, house and press return. And let's make this layer as being the one that is currently active. Okay, so now if we draw anything, it's going to go on the house layer. So let's now go to camera. We go to standard views. We go to top. And we can use the hand tool to move around our model just in 2D view, okay? So this is like a, like a plan view, okay, that you were used to seeing in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so you can zoom in and out as well. All right, so let's start drawing. So if we go over to our shape tool and um, now SketchUp snaps to intersections of a model, right? Or even on the line, okay? So intersects, so here it's showing me this is the center of that wall, okay? So let's um, start by thinking about the spaces, the, the slab, okay? So the slab, we need to draw the whole sort of structure of the house underneath it, okay? So I'm just gonna press, um, press escape, okay? And um, I'm in the wrong spot here. There we go. So I make a, um, I make a shape here, and I'm also gonna go over to this point here, click, and then click over there. Um, I need to find some other sort of basic shape here. So click there and then click here. So I'm just uh, sort of um, coloring in my base of the building. Okay, so we're getting there. All is going to be revealed more later on, okay? And we also have this post here as well, which we'll also add in too. Okay, so let's turn off our walls layer to just see the simple view of this, okay? All right, so let's go into the eraser tool and clean up this slab. So we're going to delete this line, this line. Anything that makes our um, structure appear to be kind of dirty okay all right so this is all pretty good here let's rotate our um, our view so we're going to go to the orbit tool and we're going to rotate around this way okay so let's bring our slab up we're going to go to the push pull tool and we're going to push pull up so click and then drag up and then type in 300 straight away. Press return. And this is our slab. We also need to bring our post up to our slab of the post. And that's also gonna be 300. Okay, so later on you can um, put grass over, um, just halfway up the slab if you wish. We won't do that just yet. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're going to triple click on this. One, two, three, really quickly. So the whole thing selected. Right click and then group it. Okay, and we're also going to select this as well. We can triple click on this. And we're going to right click and we're going to group that post as well, the, the, um, the foundation for the, for the post. All right, so we have this slab here. We're looking pretty good. What time are we? We are at nine minutes. So that'll be it for this one. Um, please go to File, Save As, and we're going to move on to a Part B. Okay, sketch up model okay and save all right and that is it for this one 
Thank you. Please watch part two.